So here we are guys at part three of the three part series. Part one was me helping you blow 200 pounds on a four watch collection. Part two was me helping you blow 500 pounds on a four watch collection. This one is me helping you spend 2000 pounds on a four watch collection. And some of you think, why four watches? Is it because everyone does three and you're trying to do one more? Or everyone does five and you're lazy? No, because it's from my personal experience. I like to try and get as much as I can to recommend. Three watches, you can get three, yeah, more expensive watches, but sometimes it's nice to be greedy and have as much as you can. So if you're thinking, well, four watches, that's pretty cool, you know. You got three really good ones and a spare. But no, if you've not seen the other parts, one and two, what, what I'm doing is, I've, the reason I've broken this down is, the four categories of watch for you to get is, you, your top one is, I recommend a, a tall watch or a diver watch. Mainly dive watches, because I'm a fan of dive watches, even though I can't go much deeper than about two feet, because I've had an ear surgery years ago. I still like a dive watch. Um, just that magic of knowing it's going to be all right in the sea. Don't know why, why else. I like fiddling with bezels. Maybe that's my problem, but first category is that. Second one is field watches. Field watches are a crucial part of watch horological history because it's one of the most important watches ever worn by man. It's during warfare. It was life-saving. It was, it was successfully used by many forces around the world uh, to successfully complete missions. It's all about timing, working together as a team, timekeeping, accuracy, precision, that's what a watch is about. Life-saving stuff. That's why a field watch should be in everyone's collection. And I'm doing a series about field watches soon. So that's, that's another one coming up. But it's, I'm doing a lot of research on that because it's the category that means the most to me personally. Because it's a field watch that got me into watches again. And really got me motoring into this whole YouTube thing. And I haven't even shown you that watch. But just as a heads up, it cost me £23. Crazy how it all starts. So that's the second category. The third one is a dress watch. We're all going to have these occasions in life when we go to weddings, funerals, interviews, business meetings, all these things where you need to be a bit more formal. And a dress watch is a more appropriate, more elegant watch to slip under a nice shirt cuff. I don't really wear shirts very much. I only wear t-shirts, as you know. But we must have a dress watch in the collection. It's a must. And I'm going to give you my recommendations from my limited experience. But I think I've actually got good enough experience because parts one and two, I, I found it easy to give you a recommendation. Maybe it's the lack of choice made it easier, but the watches I've had experience with, I've thoroughly enjoyed. But I always sell them because I, I personally don't wear them enough. But if you do, I hope my suggestions are appropriate. Now, lastly, every collection should have a beta. Uh, a watch that you can just tear around town with beat about where when you are streaming the lawn uh, or mowing it maybe uh, painting the raspberry bushes I don't know what you're going to wear for all occasions where you just don't care about getting it messed up um, and that is why you must have a watch you're not going to worry too much about it's kind of like you have a Ferrari and then you also have a 15 year old Vauxhall Corsa or something you can just go to the shops in because you know it doesn't matter if someone dings the door it's good to have the same thing with a watch. So I've included the Beta watch as well. This again is all my own personal suggestions and personal experience watches. And I only recommend these. And I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. Because this is such an open subject. This is only my suggestions my, from my experience. Um, and you can take it or leave it. But I thoroughly hope you enjoy this because I'm now going to start moving on to how to spend £2,000 and get your four watches. So the first one, I'm going to look, keep looking down because I've got my notepad here with the Great Wave of Kanagawa artwork, which I absolutely adore. It's my favourite of the series. Um, we'll start with Oris. Oris give you the best bang for buck for less than your Tudors, your Rolexes and all that uh, for the money. Uh, I've had two and their fit and finish is breathtaking. And their design aesthetic, all that stuff, and their heritage is what you're buying into. Swiss made, still an independent company, not bought out by some monstrous Swatch group or anything like that. Still made in Holstein, and Oris is named after the river 
in the area. It's just got so much history. And that's what's suckered me in. It's my first proper Swiss watch. And that's why I'm recommending it to you because they are just magic. They've got the X factor. Now, for the money, so your money spreads a bit further, I'll go for the Aura 65 because it has more of a retro aesthetic, more vintage charm. And I think it's more elegant in design. It feels a little bit more special. I've got an Aquis. That's a lot more contemporary and bigger. But I've also got a 65. That will be in a future review. But you get more for your money if you spend less on the 65 because they're often a little bit less than the Aquis. And I've seen them for 1270, 1270 pounds. So that's the first one. So you've got an idea now where this is going. I've spent a big chunk of the money already on the big special watch. And that's, the, that's how it should work. We've got three more to go. So the next one I decided this is gonna be for your field watch. Like I said, historical importance. I've chosen my new love of my life, the Marathon General Purpose Quartz. I got this for less than 200 pounds from Heine Haynes over here in the UK. I'm not sponsored to say that. I've just spent far too much money with them on other things. But I got this watch for 180 pounds delivered next day. And it is a proper mil spec watch and I adore it. It's just so cute and beautiful and tough at the same time. It's like, if anyone's seen Lilo and Stitch, it's like Stitch. It's small and cute, but it's a badass. And that's why I love it, because it's, it's a proper military spec watch. It's adhered to all the mil spec uh, requirements to be deemed mil spec. And you'll see when I do my full review of that watch, what I mean. But there are more expensive versions, but I'm trying to, again, fit this all within my £2,000 budget. People would argue it needs to have tritium tubes and, and things like that for it to be proper, authentic uh, and more efficient field watch. But it is a military spec watch and it has satisfied the requirements. So that for me is enough for this to be a genuine article field watch. So that's satisfied that requirement. We're going to move on now to the third one, which is... The dress watch for those more formal occasions, something more elegant, classy. What better than this? The Jungens Max Bill. This is not many watches that are more minimalistic, elegant representation of Bauhaus design. Max Bill is one of the heroes of Bauhaus design. That's why this watch is named after him. It is incredibly beautiful, elegant. It's historic. It's got so much value within the horological world. It's a no-brainer in this budget to get a max bill. That's all I have to say about that. Last one, guys. Got a few quid left, about 50. And you know what? It's not going to be a G-Shock this time. It's not going to be a Casio. Your beta. I've chosen a Timex. Now, when I was a young lad, many moons ago, you know what watch I had as my alternative to a Casio? It was an Iron Man, uh, not the red and gold fella. It was um, a Timex Iron Man. I don't go running triathlons or anything, but I liked all the buttons and it looked awesome. Uh, and there's a newer version, the modern day version, I should say. And I bought it and here's a picture of it. But I'm doing a separate review for that. I'm not going to show you any watches up close in this video. You have to put up with my mug. Now this watch I bought because it wasn't a Casio, but it's shock resistant. It's 200 meters water resist. It's got alarm, a timer, chronograph. It's got really cool luminescent indigo backlight, which is like a, does a, a reverse ghosting effect with, with, with the text. And that looks really cool. And it's got a really comfortable strap that's really like robust. And it feels like it's really attached to you when you wear it. And it's very lightweight. You just feel like it's a go anywhere, do anything, beat about watch. You can wear down the gym. You can terrorize the neighborhood wearing and skateboarding. I don't know, whatever you're into. Um, I know some of my viewers are definitely into that, especially the older folk, troublemakers. But um, I expect to see you riding around town with your Timex on your wrist. But if not, be safe otherwise, because you've just spent £2,000. You're not going to have any money left to uh, pay for a good solicitor. All your troublemaking. I hope this three-part series has been enjoyable because I thought anyone who thinks about watches for hours on end and writes it all down and does all the nerdy stuff is going to enjoy it. And I hope you see and have learned something from my content. 
these three part series because I've loved it. I've enjoyed spending your theoretical money. And um, if you've got a few quid to spare, even if you buy even one of these watches, I think you'll be happy because I've had experience with all of them. And I'm in that fortunate position where I've learned a bit along the way. It's been a busy year so far and I'm happy to share. And I hope you can share back with me. Let me know what, what your thoughts are. How would you spend your 2K on four watches? Or any of the other parts of the series? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, it's been an absolute joy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.